Well, as we said in our lead story, President Obama is speaking out about some regrets in his first two years in office, and some of it has to do with a certain buzzword. We've got shovel-ready projects all across the country to start helping states and local governments with shovel-ready projects. We are seeing shovels hit the ground. Shovels are breaking ground and cranes dot the sky. There are almost 100 shovel-ready transportation projects. Shovels will soon be moving earth and trucks will soon be pouring concrete. Well, here's what he told the New York Times Magazine, quote, he let himself look too much like the same old tax and spend liberal Democrat. That was a quote from the president talking to the New York Times Magazine. He realized too late that, quote, there's no such thing as shovel ready projects when it comes to public works. Perhaps he should not have proposed tax breaks as part of his stimulus and instead let the Republicans insist on the tax cuts. So it could be could have been seen as a bipartisan compromise. Well, that raised a lot of eyebrows here in Washington. And here's a Democrat senior aide uh, saying those comments just give our candidates who are already trying to defend their vote on the stimulus one more booby trap to deal with in debates. What about this Charles? Well that is quite an admission you know a year and a half and half a trillion dollars later he says well these things that I talked about endlessly don't exist. It's not actually surprising that he doesn't know what a shovel out of the project didn't exist because um, having never worked in the private sector, he wouldn't be sure what a project is, and there isn't a lot of shoveling at Harvard Law School. So I can understand that this is one of the greatest oops in American history. Uh, and it's going to be hard for a Democrat when you show, you know, one tape against another, and you're going to say, and you supported a trillion dollars offered by a president who didn't even know that this stuff is not going to happen, and that's probably why. Since everybody expected it would have an immediate effect on employment, and it didn't, this is probably one of the reasons why. Things weren't shovel-ready. The other admission, I think, is even worse, the one in which he says he ended up looking like a tax and spend Democrat. The, Obama and his staff really think this is all about appearances and communication, that he isn't really a tax and spend Democrat, but he didn't communicate it, or as the vice president said today, it's too hard to explain it, meaning that the American electorate is too thick to understand it. He is a tax and spend Democrat. He, 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 he spent a trillion dollars and we're going to have to borrow or tax it on the stimulus. He's going to spend two to three trillion on health care. You're going to have to borrow or, 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 or tax it. Uh, cap and trade is spending that you're going to have to. That's what he is. That's why the electorate is against him. It's not appearances. It's substance. Generations from now, we will be able to look back and tell our children that this was the moment when we began to provide care for the sick and good jobs for the jobless. This was the moment when the rise of the ocean began to slow and our planet began to heal. This was the moment when we ended the war and secured our nation and restored our image as the last best hope on Earth.